<laughs> you might think you're a cool detective, but I'm an amateur and I also, oh, you know. Hey guys, I'm Laura. And I'm Darian. And we're the Boozy Broads. Welcome back to Clues and Cocktails. Today we're going to be playing Nancy Drew in the Haunted Carousel. To honor the amusement park setting, today we're drinking a childhood classic for punch. <laughs> With two different kinds of liquor in it. <laughs> Gotta keep it boozy. Indeed. <laughs> so, thoughts on the Haunted Carousel. How do you feel about this game? Okay, yeah, so it wasn't my favorite growing up. I mean, I liked it, but there were definitely games that were higher on the list. Uh, but one thing I do really remember is the creepy organ music. I really loved that. I don't know why. I'm just very excited to hear it again. Um, and just the fact that it was in an amusement park was a great setting for a kid. It was very appealing. Um, yeah, I'm excited to revisit it. It's one that I played quite a few times, um, but yeah, I'm just excited. What about you? Uh, I feel, yeah, kind of a similar way. Yeah. I wasn't probably my favorite Nancy Drew game of, of all time, mm -hmm. but it was probably the one that I played the most often, just because it was a shorter game. It was yeah. fairly easy to get through, pretty straightforward, yeah. and very fun. Just lots of games and, yeah. and the kind of amusement park setting. And it was kind of creepy with the haunted houses exactly. and the haunted carousel. So I am I am excited to go back and to play it again. Yeah. So disclaimer: this isn't a walkthrough. If you're looking for that, go elsewhere. We got our cocktails. We're ready to jump in and solve some mysteries. It's gonna be real mysterious. I can't promise it's gonna be very productive. Now I see. Right. Still so got our books. Yeah. We got some hawks, some carousels to um, to investigate. We do. Some haunted haunted carousels. New game. Some pretty haunted ones. Okay. Welcome to my latest case, Thank the you. haunted carousel. The to haunted start playing, carousel. choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. See ya. Obviously. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove yeah, Amusement Park, right. about to try to figure and out what's behind all the Ned weird things that, that have been have happening here lately. Contact? First, a horse just Maybe disappeared not. off the carousel one night. <gasps> then a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the Fantastic. dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody oh, was seriously shark. hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, Ooh, which is next to the park. Go. I'm supposed to head over That's there like right now and meet show. with a security oh. guard named Harlan Bishop. Like a clam show. I hope yeah. I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Oh, no! Oh, wow, this is quaint. It is the, probably the cutest of the ones we've had so far. That's valid. Like, it's not the Holiday Inn, like, in Scarlet Hand. This right? music is very, like, mysterious. It is. Wow. It's very, like, like, Detective Snoopy, like... <laughs> All right. Some banger. Look at we have a cell phone for the first time! Oh my god! This is a huge upgrade. This is advanced. Oh my god, who, who are our phone contacts? This is advanced yeah. technology. We don't um, have phone contacts. Oh, director. Yeah. Hardy? Hardy! Frank and Joe! <laughs> we should buy Frank and Joe these sweaters. And then they can match us. We should, we should buy Frank and Joe these That's so funny. Home. Home. Oh, we get to talk to Dad. Bess. Bess. Paul is here. Yeah. Okay, cool. so no Ned. Okay, we don't that's fine. Really. He's out being a frat boy. We've got our other boyfriends on the phone. Yeah, so, so that's fine. Okay. Um, we have oh, a laptop. Very too. responsible. She brought her sunscreen. She brought her very questionable sunglasses that look like goggles. But um, that's good. They do. What is that? A room Thank service you. menu. Oh, this right. more normal. Is this more normal? We got <laughs> soups. Treasure in the Royal Tower flashback. Ooh, pasta and veggie platter. Ooh. Hamburger platters. Desserts. Captain, Captain Cove Co Fun Day. Fun Day. That sounds uh, delicious. Oh, we can only see the bottom. So is that... Okay, cool. We're probably gonna need to order something at some point, I assume. Yes. There's a few... I there it, like I remember bits of this game, but like there are pieces of it that I just don't remember. Oh, we have another sure. cell phone. Oh, that's probably for the room service. Yeah, that'll be for the operator. Okay, we don't need you yet, but nope. we'll come back when we're hungry. Yeah. Um, Flag game? What? I feel like this 
game is in Deception Island, which we haven't played yet. Oh no, this. it's We're time. Not. We're not gonna play it. Journal. A friend of my father's, Paula Santos, wants me to figure out what's behind all the strange things that have been happening at the amusement park in Captain's Cove note. Cool. That's exactly what you said in your note today. Yeah. So here are things to do. Check with P. Santos. Check oh, out the other now. Head over to the park and look for the security guard. Okay, we've done that. Senior detectives don't have a checklist. No. Welcome to Saucy Detective. No outgoing mail. Okay. Awesome. So let's call Paula because we're supposed to check in with her now that we're here. She'll yes. tell us what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm good. That's best. There we go. There we go. Yo, Paula! Yo, Paul! Oh. Paula Santos. Hello, Miss Santos. It's Nancy Drew. She's blue Hello. Ones. Have you been out to the park? <laughs> no, not yet. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're all set. I told the guard at the main Harlan. gate to keep an eye out for you. His name's Harlan Bishop. All the rides are shut They're down except in. for the carousel. Harlan I thought you Bishop. might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. She's okay. a very gentle voice. She does. First chance I get. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Hmm. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Uh, that's rude. So I can get into the park through the main gate? Harlan will be watching for you. These are useless. Oh, and from now on, call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Bye, Paula. Bye, Paula. My gosh, this music. We even have a TV. A phony. Instead of Sony, it says phony. Oh, that's so funny. Did it? Was it red? Or was that just the drawer? I want to see her mom's jeans. Do you have them? They're very they good. Part they're time back! Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we have a brochure for the Captain's Cove. We don't have to read them. Rolf oh, Kessler. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing Rolf. in New Jersey Beach Captain's Cove Amusement Park. One of the first rides at the park was a carousel created by famed woodcarver Rolf Kessler, completed in 1914. Carousel and its band organ are still operational. To this day, carousel connoisseurs swear that riding one of the wild-eyed steeds that Kessler carved is an experience that borders on eerie. Ooh. Um, so they have Midway Games, Tidal Terror Roller Coaster, that's the creepy shark that we saw. Yeah, don't like and that. Demons of the Deep Haunted House. Oh, we can get a fun pass! We can get a fun pass. And oh, for more information, I'm gonna write that number down just in case. Sure. 609 Awesome. We're probably gonna need that. I don't know why, but it's in a brochure, so. Alright, well, oh. Linen closet! We can iron! Yeah, this is the one thing I remember at this game. This iron is um, a terror. Yes. If you don't turn off the iron before you leave, the whole hotel will burn down because there are no other steps that no. can be taken before that. No. I, we should do it for fun one day. We should. Sorry, we're closed. Well, I'm... Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to I'm her left? Enter that whale's Thank mouth. You. It looks real juicy. Okay. Oh, God. Hey. Well, from the way you just marched Hello, right on Harlan. in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate I'm crasher. A very determined gate crasher, thank you. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. You know it! <laughs> no, oh, well. Substitute the word amateur for famous. And yes, oh, that's so me. Humble. I don't know. Miss Santos seems to have a lot of faith in you. Apparently more than she does in some people around here. She's afraid the police aren't giving this case very high priority. Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. Yeah, okay. What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that oh, these so-called accidents are it's really the result nice of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy. Or some such gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. So you don't think it was sabotage? Why would anybody bother? It's a nice park. Miss Santos, she's a nice boss. Nice people work here. Nice people come here. It was an accident. Mm -hmm. You're useless. Okay. <laughs> Who is this Ingrid person you mentioned? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably yeah, meet her. Now. She's working it's during the shutdown, mechanic, too. She? She's the yeah. park's chief engineer. 
believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Okay. Yeah, they probably, yeah, they probably spit in your food. Scurvy. Not that that gives you scurvy, but you know. Good. We're not getting scurvy today. We're not scientists. We have a lot of fruit in our drink. Yeah. Um, is anyone else in the park? Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen, he's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. Why is stop. that? Why is that? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Cool. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. Art it's a Captain's Cove yes! fun car. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Okay. Will do. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's I'm a movie too, like me. Always. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Thank Joy's you. office is. That's very kind. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store, so very uncertain department about that. store, you know, as a security guard in Flemington, not around here. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel yeah. until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Yeah. Want to see it? Yeah, we do. Uh, that'd be great. That'd be great. I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, yeah, they weren't so real impressed. Oh, there's some static. There's some flashing lights. There's, there's the no horses. sound on the tape, at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. I remember as a kid watching this and being like, Oh my god, it's so scary! Look at them go! <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, it's a carousel. <laughs> Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Sure. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're, no, you're here, maybe you can prove you're it for me. Why would I want to see that tape again? We will what need to, I think, eventually. See you around. Sounds yeah. good. I do remember needing to see it again. Is there what anything is here? Really can we snoop? Hello, can I sit at your little cool desk and look in your cameras, please? Okay. Uh, please keep all personal belongings in your locker. Nancy Drew visits today. Give fun pass. Map of park. Send to Joy. Oh, Happy to go. Look at it. Police department. He really ticked off all of his to-do list. Good man. Good man. I like how these numbers are in, uh, like, just like in random places. Yeah. 609. The phone number for the police. Well, well, that might come in handy. When I clicked on it. Maybe. Oh well, I have it. It's fine. Like, coffee rules. Uh, see that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. does. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Hello, anything I can take, please? No? Okay. Lockers. Oh, we're probably gonna need a combo. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad oh, habit. I, to, I don't know your combination. Oh, oh. Well, we're probably gonna need this at some point. I suppose so. Okay. Cool. Can we really not take like anything in here? Probably that not until he, probably not until he leaves, because there is a point where he leaves. I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. Park. So we're supposed to go see Joy. So let's follow the orders. Lil Guppy Guppy Play Pond. It's always weird when they put pictures of real people in Nancy Drew games. Yes, and I feel like that this also doesn't pertain to a Guppy Play Pond. It shows like a ball pit. Yeah. Like wouldn't you have a picture of the pond? Sure. Whatever. It's fine. Thinking too much about this. <laughs> Hello, Miss Unjoyful. Hello. About her. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access yeah. card. 
Yes, Ms. Santos wants me to have the run of the park. You're wasting your time, Excuse you know. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any Can of this curse garbage. Interesting. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly well, haunted? Well, shut down. How would that be good for business? Wow. Your voice really annoys me. This. But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park she would be shut probably down. Probably not an idiot. The park would shut down. <laughs> For someone who's unjoyful, your voice is very high. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Uh, so, access card? Yeah. Right. Um, I'm supposed <laughs> to get an access story. card from you? Yeah. Here you go. That should get awesome. you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted okay. house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His Elliot studio is Chin. right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to <coughs> bug him. Not? Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks Bye. for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Guess what? You're dressed like a tree. No one wears brown and green together. No, they don't. Let's look at stuff. Night. Blast off in the night rocket. Only at Captain's Cove. <coughs> that wasn't on the, the brochure. No, it wasn't on the brochure. The... Hmm. Maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Oh, Detective Paris. Do we have his number somewhere in here? I do have this number. Is that Detective Paris? It's a park. Park door finds hidden treasure at Captain's Cove. Um... So the Orbiter was this guy's favorite amusement park ride after he found close to $50,000 worth of jewelry hidden in the padding that lines the rides. <laughs> By Dilly Dallies. Dilly Dallies. I love that. Wow. So he felt something sharp when he strapped in, and by the time the ride was over, he thought for sure whatever it was had totally stuck itself into my shoulder. <laughs> and then he found out after the fact that it was jewelry. Three necklaces, a pearl necklace, and two jewel-studded gold bracelets. I knew they were real Wait, right away, he said. Um, fakes just don't sparkle like that. So he turned it over to the police. It was real. It had been among the items that were stolen when a thief broke into the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel. Um, man in charge of the investigation three years ago, KJ Paris, recalls the thief made his getaway by running through the park. So now they suspect the reason the loot has never turned up is because the thief stashed the jewelry in various places throughout the park. Gotcha. So he could return for it days, months, even years later. So he, are we... I feel like, are we looking for this? Yeah. Is this a treasure hunt one? Kind of. So some pretty valuable stuff could still be hidden in the park, Paris said. But before people start tearing up the rides looking for it, they should be advised that I'll be watching. Interesting. So we need to find maybe his number somewhere. Maybe yeah. the police department has contact with Maybe. Him. I wrote his name down. Okay, perfect. Maybe we'll find his number. No! I really don't do need to get you. this work done. R right. I'll try and look at I do not want to talk to you again. That was not the purpose. Can we, like, well, now that we've seen this, can we go talk to her again? I don't think okay, so. Okay, if I oh. peek in here. Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Andy. Love how there's just this one page just like uh, sticking this out. we're gonna need to figure out later. Hmm. Yes, Looks stenography. like stenography. You want me to write it down? It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. Down. I yeah, wonder he's which agreed horse. to sell the horse named whatever, but we're gonna need to learn stenography to figure out what the name was. Okay. Um I do remember that, you're right, yeah. Yeah. Cause that is Oh yeah, yeah if you don't write it down, it's all there. there. Yeah. Awesome pasta. So we can get in there and now. Okay. Any other drawers that we can look in? Aunt Nancy Lee always knows the one that we need. She 
you guys. Uh, it used to be a galaxy ballroom. Ooh, the world's greatest beachfront ballroom. Dances and concerts, oh my. Featuring conductor Sean Bids and the Nouveau Jersey Shore Orchestra. Yeah. I want to go there. That's cute. That actually seems yeah, really normal. It does. Very cute. Oh, there's one with the carousel. The carousel. The galaxy ballroom and the carousel. Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Oh, is this in New Jersey? I didn't even realize. Yeah, there's a simple well, beginning. Harlan's accent, first off. And then also there's something that's somewhere yeah. else that's something about New Jersey. Yeah, that's true, Harlan's accent. So it's it's like, I was between, like, is it. Is it The haunted house used to be a ballroom. Oh, so, How's that okay, for irony? So the original ballroom, very cute. C converting the ballroom. See, I think these are details that I completely missed as a kid. Really? I just didn't care. Yeah. Big fish mouth. Well, it's got a seed in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, here's about a lawsuit against the park, a victim oh, of the poster accident. Oh, another one. The reason why the park was closed down. Interesting. Lance so Huffington. He... Why does this sound familiar? Um, we have to talk to him. Are so he, right now? yeah, the sudden stop caused his head to snap backwards, then forwards. Severe trauma to soft tissue in his neck, he claims. Owner of the park Paula Santos declined to comment on the lawsuit. Park was closed immediately after. Poor Paula. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Awesome. All right. All right. Let's go um, see. Why don't we go see Ingrid, Ingrid. and yeah. just like talk to everyone before yeah. we actually explore the park? I feel like that makes the most sense. Then we can go and do our extra things. Exactly. Oh, okay. there's an ember pad. Oh. I feel like that means we have to access this place. Maybe we'll need that later. Yeah. Ooh, hey, you're cool. Yeah. She's cool. Look at I her. Looking like you. for Loves someone? It. Yeah. She's styling. If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be Drew. able to shake your hand, Drew. Ms. Nancy Drew. Bound. James Bound. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? What's sure. that mean? Oh, my. Oh, what? You've got B3 issues. Oh, God. Okay. Who are you? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing you that some natural peanut, peanut butter, butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. I, I won't complain about it. I basically Fine. won't do that anyway. Health. You know? Health. <laughs> Not the peanut butter we buy. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> How long have you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. Good for you. I've held the nah, supervisory position for the last ten on. months. Yeah. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure She's out? So Someone stole a it. horse off Someone the carousel stole. and now the park is cursed. It off the carousel and now it's cursed. So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessler, he said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. Okay. And it has. That'd be handy. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints oh. and can't find them anywhere. So I wonder if we have to I'm sure one of the other engineers, engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Do I Sorry. Like I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> how well do you know oh, Alan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trent. In in I also know it drives him nuts that this yeah. is one of the few places and in the park in he doesn't have a key he's for. From Trenton. Dude, Any Mario. idea why someone yeah. would steal a oh, horse off a carousel? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Yeah. Plus, I happen to adore yeah, my job. Right. Thanks for your help. Let's you bet. Let's explore. What can we see other than Remember finding people quite a bit in this, in this workroom? Yeah, I feel like we should find something. Can I look in your bag? It's probably your lunch. Do you mind? I love it in this game, mind. like, like instead of Nancy just being like, I should come back later. Like, the, the people are like, can you not? <laughs> can you just not do that? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, she's like, looking at a hybrid car. Which is interesting. That's I wonder, very advanced for yeah, that time. Also very valuable, so very I wonder expensive. if she's looking for money or, like, valuables. Because now we know. The carousel horses are worth a lot to Yeah, she was the one that told us that too. So that's yeah. very suspicious. Very interesting. I like her print. It's, it's very that, pretty. it's very cute. It's very lovely. Love that. 
So is there okay. nothing we can get? I guess not for now. I wonder if we just have to wait until she's gone. I remember there being yeah. a point where she leaves and we have to get in there by ourselves. Yeah, probably a case like that. Which is weird. Normally, like at this point in the game, you just like pick up random pick up items things. and you're like, what am I going to do with this? Oh well. Exactly. All right, let's go see Elliot. And there you have Moose. Boop, boop is on the loose. Elliot! Elliot Moose. Here's Hang on, on I'll loose. be right with you. Take your time. Elliot Moose. Oh, dang. Uh-oh. What? Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Why did that okay? face was mad? Okay. I don't like him. And I also he was fully, like, fully remember him being a redhead. I don't know why. Elliot Chen. Yeah, I know. I don't remember his last. I didn't remember his last <laughs> name, but I fully remembered him being a redhead for some reason. That's so Maybe strange. Maybe I'm thinking about a different character in the series. He kind of series. looks like he looks like very freckly and stuff. Yeah, I feel like I could see how you can envision red hair on him. Exactly. Okay. Well, we should go see Joy because now we need to, to in order to shock okay. him, we can snoop. Oh, interesting. Oh crud. Who are you? And what he's, are you doing? He's here. Who said that? Oh, you scared me. Over here. On top of the cabinet. Okay, hi. Keep Why going. do you have a bicycle handlebars ahead? Please At identify yourself. Yeah. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles, oh, the magnificent oh, memory oh, machine. Oh, I receive oh, and oh. process video and audio input and make appropriate pre programmed verbal responses. You Who are programmed creepy. you? It is my turn is to ask a question. Bigger than the Why other are you one? here when Joy Why is not? Why are your arms made of pipes? Why is your As a matter of fact, I need to leave a message bar. for her. There is Why a pad is your for leaving messages on bar. the desk. <laughs> so, We're who just, programmed like, you? Like, Responding a to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power unit. I'm just cooking on stuff. Oh, crud. What does that mean? Don't talk to us because we're not joy. Hello? Miles? Yes. Well, I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Maybe we picked the wrong things to say to him. <laughs> we're, oh, just, no, we're, we're just clicking and nailing about him, so yeah. that's fine. All right, let's noob on her desk. Cool, man. He did say that we can use his notepad to write to her, so at least we have that. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. It's a ghost dog. Oh, my God. So cute. Joy, please call Elliot C. Thanks, Nancy Drew. Yeah. Nancy who? Hmm. Nancy Drew. Looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. I was a pencil chewer as a kid. Gross! That's a nervous habit. Gross! Some kids have that. <laughs> they grew out of it. It's fair. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you chew your pencil if you need to, girl. Do what you gotta do to get by. <laughs> now I just chew my nails. I'm just kidding. <laughs> An even worse habit. Alright, All right, let's see if we can call the police guy. Yeah, well. it actually sounds good. Frame of mind. I love that we can just like call people from anywhere. We don't have to go to our hotel room it's anywhere. It's so luxurious. Yeah, it is. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective oh, Paris, Detective please. Paris. Hang on. Oh, awesome. I did write his name down. We don't have his number now. Perfect. KJ. Who's KJ? KJ Paris. Ew. My name is Nancy Drew. I'd like to Sorry, ask you some questions KJ. about a jewel heist, an old jewel heist. The one where the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel was broken into. Oh, you are going back a ways. You a reporter? I'm a detective. <laughs> detective? You might think you're a cool detective, but I'm an amateur and I also, oh, you know. Pretty famous. Um, All right. Um, I'm trying to help Paula Santos figure out why so many weird things have been happening lately at her amusement park. Oh, yeah? So what do you need? Just so happens yeah. Paula Santos is a good yeah, friend of mine. one's kind of dweeby. I'm a detective. Yeah. Since everything seems to have started with the theft of that carousel horse, oh, I'm wondering if maybe it was stolen Excellent. because there were jewels from that heist hidden inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Mm. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. That I'll make that's a call interesting. Yeah. If there was somebody he confided in before he died. Oh. Somebody who was recently released. Again, my name is Nancy Drew, and you can reach me on my cell phone anytime. The number is 523-555-4399. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Okay, is there anybody else that we want to... Do you want to call Frank and Joe and Bess now? Is there enough to talk to them about, or should we do that later? Well, let's just do it later, okay. when we actually right. have done a few things. Let's go look at the carousel, since we haven't done that yet. Good call, yeah. 
No. No high heels, no spurs or peg legs. Ha! Spurs are on um, like cowboy boots. That's so funny. Oh, we gotta put our. Can we just like walk in? Oh, okay, we should have to use our pouch to ride like, in. Ride it, but yeah, let's just look at it for now because we don't actually actively need anything yet. No. So this is where it was stored. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, cool. See, this is the music I was talking Spring about the in whole, our intro. The it's so creepy. This carousel was created by Rolf Kessler in 1914. Oh, oh, and that's where we need our card. access card. This takes an employee access card. I remember too, as a kid, I never, I didn't get the access card right away. I didn't go and see Joy. I just started like snooping, and I was like, oh crud! How do I get in this? Oh, oh wait, we do have an access. Yeah, card. Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh, I'm like, where do I have one? Okay, so that means we can't. Maybe that's. Do you want to have access to that? that? Oh, this is Snoopy music. This is the same music that started at the beginning. We're yes. gonna be there in a little dance. Uh, can we not go around the whole thing? Not like just get out. I thought we could go around the whole. We can up. ride it, but we don't need uh, to ride it yet. No, we, we need, need to, ride to ride it like. Wait, that zebra is laughing yes. real hard. Ha ha ha! It's locked. Why is everything negative? It's um, locked. The roller coaster. Here, the title terror. We're gonna have to go see Joy about this. Oh, what's this? Hmm. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Okay, well, we know that our puzzle oh. work, and we know that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh. Should I write any of this down? Must upgrade for card reader below the schematic for the circuit as it currently stands. The resistors are in parallel. Okay. Chromester called and said that the total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohms. They said the micro resistor will give 5 ohms of resistance. So, wh whoever's hooking up this thing should hook the resistors in series. Who's Nick? Oh, we I'll don't have any of these yet. Though. I remember this puzzle. I remember it not being too hard. Yeah, we need a solder gun or something to like mm. put these together. And I think that we need get that more. Anchor, right, probably. Yeah, we need more of these things. I don't think we have enough of them. Okay. Well, let's go. Maybe we go talk to Joy about the access pass, and then maybe go to Ingrid about that. I don't. Well, Joy wasn't there last time. I don't think anything will have changed. Oh, she's there now. I really do need oh. to get this work Dude, done. Have you right. talked to Elliot? Sorry. Yet? Well, let's just go talk to Ingrid because she's the one that like is the True. engineer, so she's the one that will be. Able to and I wonder to then things. if like, like once we talk to Ingrid, we could go back and talk to Elliot, and she just had True. talked to him in yeah. the time that passed. Yeah. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, yeah. I see. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, voice. but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like oh to do it gosh. for me. Classic case of Nancy having to do other people's I things. I am not an engineer, That too. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the you new macro the resistor. Schematic. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. Need you'll need to solder it in place. Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from the Elliot Chen. Here's those? the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long Thank as you, you like. I will. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. Go into the haunted house. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you gonna answer She's it? Just gonna stand no, there and be creepy. That would be rude. I'll just call them back. <laughs> so, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. I don't seem to be having much luck using oh, my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. One Sorry, open mind sees <laughs> more than the two case open of the eyes. Mysterious missing pliers. The mysterious missing pliers. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. What? No, go back. No. No bad food. No unhealth food. No hot dogs. 
Sorry. <laughs> so sad. So sad. I want hot dog. Okay. Um, so we might have to look at it. Okay, this is our circuit one, uh, which we don't have the solder gun yet anyway. We still have to get that. But first color, second color, third color, and then the tolerance. Mm. So these will tell us what kind of resistors we have. So They're supposed to be. Let me write this down really quick. So green is five. So it says resistors reduce the amount of voltage or current in an electrical circuit. Think of a resistor as a dam holding back the electrical power. Resistors have different values. The value of a resistor is measured in ohms. Below are some commonly used resistors. The amount of total resistance depends on how the resistors are placed. Resistors can be placed in series or in parallel. If several resistors are placed in series, i.e. one after the other, then the total resistance is the sum of the resistor values. So 10, 30, 100 in this case. In the diagram above, there are three resistors with the values of 10, 30, and 100. The total resistance is 140 ohms. Makes sense, they add them. Resistors placed in parallel and separate circuits that later meet up have a more complex formula to compute total resistance on, in, on a circuit. Consult with your manager on this issue. Okay. Dress code, we don't <laughs> care. Mom jeans are always allowed. Always. Lathe, we might need to know that later. Red tags, soldering. Um, is a way to create electrical mints. Sarah Tan, green is 5, orange is 30, brown, black, black is 10, brown, black, brown is 100. Cool. Well, Elliot, talk to us now. Well, Miss Destructo yeah, returns. Miss Destructo! Is this true to you, Mr. Freckleface? I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. I'm also a so, I hear you're out to solve face. the curse of Captain's Cove. I thought it would be a missed opportunity if I didn't. Well, thank you. Yeah. These glasses, it's funny because we were having an issue because when we did our intro and we cheers. They clunked. It really just clunked. And we're like, these aren't plastic. They're not. They're so we glass. tested We so tested our other ones together and they they cheers they, really, really well. They cheers. For, so for some reason, whatever we have in here is turning them into some other material. I don't understand how that works, science. And also, we didn't tell you the recipe, but if you did want to make this, it is vodka, <laughs> white rum, fruit, fruit punch, punch, lemonade, club, club soda. soda. With a couple of slices of citrus. Just yum. to make it look pretty, you know. Super yum. Alcoholic adult. It's so punch. good. <laughs> so good. Uh, right. What do you think caused the roller coaster accident? That was no accident. It was sabotage. What? Yeah. Do you have proof? Not a lick. Sure no why? Familiar. Because I'm pulling your leg, that's why. Come on. What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer <laughs> person. You should tell us we're B3. Um, the way I hear sufficient. it, the shutdown is a good thing. For you, at least. You mean because I'm behind my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. <laughs> Meeting deadlines has never been my for forte. But I because certainly hope you're not suggesting that I yeah. arranged for the park to be Classic shut down artist. by somehow manufacturing this curse thing because that would be okay. ridiculous. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Thanks, Here man. you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Thank you. Thanks, Great. Mr. Moose. Thanks. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent? She's like invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. It's gonna be a lot of that in this game. Sorry, no. I listened to nothing he said. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he says that Joy Trent is invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift, and that Rent-A-Cop, I've got no desire to see anything of Wow, her. you don't like anyone, you're rude. Um, she's invisible even when she's visible? Like, everyone's so mean. She's, her name's Joy, but she's not Joy. very joyful. Yeah. Like, oh, this poor she's girl. She's joyless. You know what, I want to like her just because everyone Why do you say her. that? Yeah. Dude is way too eager to make my business his business, you know what, that's Elliot, all. I just have a bad feeling about you. I'll let you get back to work. You're if a very you negative must. Nancy. <laughs> Screw bolts, adhesives. Oh. 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 What's this? Could I have some of these tissue strips? We need Be my guest. for the organ to see which notes oh, yeah. are being played. Oh yeah, there's another music puzzle in this game. Yay. Correct. Ooh, a ruler. Oh, we need to measure something later. I 
can use oh, this to measure. Oh, you can use a roller, roller to, to measure. measure. Let's see. Wow. wow. Innovation at its finest. This music is so intense. It's so intense. Oh, this is oh, showing us how this process works. Even though we have not found the organ. If you blow a breeze on a piece of tissue, it will blow. We have not seen the organ, so we don't actually know what that's for yet, but we remember. <laughs> More like you remember. Oh. Wow, 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Board feet of what? Feet. Base wood, bass wood, bass wood, bass base wood. 360 board feet one inch basswood. I'm having a hard time understanding what that means. Me too. One inch? That's very small. Yeah, 360 board feet? What is a, what is a board feet? I've never heard. I have a dad who's a construction person and I've never heard this term. A construction term. person! Never heard this term in my life. A contractor. A contractor. <laughs> well, I've never heard this term in my life. <laughs> Oh, we get to take it! Perfect! Cool. I really you should ask him what them. board feet are. Well, look at them board feet again. I'll literally text him right now and be like, what's a board foot? <laughs> what, <clears throat> Elliot? Oh, I can touch everything in your room except for this one piece of paper. Yeah, literally. Oh, are those board feet? Or is this a board feet? We'll never know. Wow! Whoa! A lathe! A lathe. What's a lathe? We have to use this later. Um, I don't know. This... That is a lathe. What's a lathe used for? To lathe things. Wow, we seem really dumb. Mind if I look at this? <laughs> no, go right ahead. We know what we know about what we know. Cool. Yeah, exactly. And we don't know what we, we don't, don't know about what we, we don't. don't know. Uh, all about, about carousels. We need to pay attention to this game. <laughs> it's become a thing. So we're not going to read this whole book because we don't read everything anymore. No, we used to, but we're not going to do we that. We used to be those people. Yeah. Um, uh, famous carousel carvers. All we really care about okay. is that we know. Here are some factoids. Cool, real horse hair. Oh, fame. Those familiar with Rolf Kessler's work might disagree. Driven by dark moods and odd convictions, Kessler worked by himself, creating carousels on a freelance basis. Oh, interesting. Some people found the intense expressions of Kessler's creations to be a little too realistic. Wow. So that's the one who carved all the carousel. Yeah, and I did even this carousel. I mentioned garden. like when we saw like the horses in, in the carousel. Some of them are like, you know, they're like laughing and like they look sadistic almost. They really like, it's do. Really weird. And apparently, a lot of people frowned on that because they found it a little bit too creepy. Yeah, that's too. But okay. Interesting. Um, other than that, uh, we can learn about carousel horses. They were carved out of soft hardwood, like basswood. Basswood. Oh. So, and that's the kind of wood soft. that Elliot ordered that we have on this thing? Yes. Okay, interesting. Um, soft enough to carve easily, but hard enough to stand up to a lot of work. Is he making horses? For fun, fantastic, fun, fantastic, fantastic fan factoid. Inner side, romance side. I feel like that's something we'll need to know. Maybe. Faced out and was most seen by the public was its romance side, since it was most visible. It usually included much more detail than the inner side. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, history, cool. Festive day of contests on horseback. Foxfire. So all means. Foxfire? Ooh. Why is Write that? that down just in case. Carousel horses were often named. Their names would appear on the inside of their bridles. Oh, I see. That's probably what that's for. Oh, so that's how we'll find out the names of the other horses on the carousel. We yes, but out. we need to know the name a of the horse that we're missing because we will not see that one. No, of course not. Entry no. Oh, this is, is actually interesting. English carousels rotated clockwise while carousels in America and the rest of Europe rotated in a counterclockwise wow. direction. What about the one at Candace Wonderland? It, it goes clockwise. It does go clockwise. Fun fact. Very European. The last time we went to Candace Wonderland together, we rid the carousel and some kids ruined it for us because they wouldn't get off their phones. You so were they not stopped. allowed to use your phone. Yeah, they stopped the ride. The they stopped the ride for us. We, we didn't get we to ride. We were having a great time. Yeah. And these kids just wanted to take some selfies on the carousel. Not allowed. And they said over the intercom, multiple times get off your get phone, off your phone or we're gonna stop the ride and, and then they, they stopped wouldn't. the ride <laughs> and so we were like you huge you you we are adults yeah. on the carousel like how dare you ruin our ride by being on your phone our children you 
you. We're also those people that when we go to like theme parks, we'll ride a lot of like the like the thriller the swings. Ride, like, the swings. swings. We love the swings, but the roller coasters are like no. <laughs> I'm against drops of any kind. Yeah, yeah. I'll do loop de loops, I'll do corkscrews, I'll do all of that. Yeah. Big drop. Big drops? No, yeah. No, we, we're doing this is the exact same. And that's why it's so good to go to Canada's Wonderland. Most people are like, let's go on the big ones, and we're like, no, I'm gonna go over to the carousel. <laughs> yeah. So. And the swings. Yes. And clockworks. Yes. The best. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We scream on that. This is like all tiny children. We're like, yeah! If you've ever been to Canada's Wonderland, you know what Clockworks. I hope you know what Clockworks is. That is great. Okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Otherwise, I oh, it did talk about catching the ring on the carousel, but whatever. Just being on the outside. You can oh the ring. yeah, and we have to do that. We have to flip through the whole thing to close it. Oh lord. Have yeah, but, mercy. Oh oh, we're still not. What's the band organ? organ? We do need to know about that. Um, Should we read this then? I guess. Um. So it's mechanical, no one has to play it for it to work. Uh, uh, four through punches. pipes which produce musical notes in relation to holes punched in a roll of paper. A variety of pipes can be activated at one time along with drums and cymbals. Yes, we do that. It's called a band organ. Uh, many people think the music they hear when they ride the carousel is cantaloupe music and cantaloupe whatever is different. Calliope? Different. Did you say cantaloupe? I said cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but it made me think of galloping. Cantaloupe. <laughs> Cantaloupe music. <laughs> Calliope or yeah. Calliope. No, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's not Cantaloupe. Alright, <laughs> alright. Okay, maybe you take over the reading. I'm gonna drink my fruit punch. Uh, a Calliope, however, is a totally different machine designed to attract attention. The high pitched flute, flute, flute like Calliope tones are usually heard at the circus. Some antique band organs have speakers that simply broadcast pre-recorded music, but some still use the traditional but fragile paper rolls, while others, the pipes, are activated according to digitally recorded patterns. Some hand organs can go back and forth between the old way of playing tunes and the new, improving the likelihood that as long as there are carousels, there will be band organ music. Okay, so we know that probably, because this carousel at this park is old, probably uses that whole punch yes. paper system of a playing music. Exactly. Okay, cool. This is a cool bookshelf with these uh, seahorses. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very fun. Okay, we took some things and now we're gonna leave. Bye. Bye. Um, um, so do you want to... Should we go back to the carousel and see if our midway she passes? Won't have active, okay? She said that she had to finish what she was doing and then okay. she'd go activate those so, ones. But we can go back to... Also midway games. We haven't done that yet. But we, we have the solder gun now, so let's go fix Oh, true. The, okay, fix let's yeah, do the haunted house. Oh, I don't think it was the haunted house, actually. I it, was it was the, the carousel. The the carousel. <laughs> yes, the roller coaster. The only thing I didn't say. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Why not? Better not take the tag no, until I, I fix it. this. So fix it. So we can't move those ones. No, we can't, but orange is 30, and then brown, black, black is 10, so that's 30, that's I 10. just placed it, and it won't let me, it won't let hmm. me take it out. Okay, so do we saw it. Is this the way that I'm supposed to have it, or? I guess not. It's staying oh. there, though, like, I can't remove it. Okay, well, let's solder. It just seems odd, like, I can't move it now. Is this the puzzle? We need what to know what to solder? I don't think so. I think we just solder any ends. And then there's that one right there. Alright, so we've soldered everything. Yeah, and she has to see. Uh-oh! According to Ingrid, you not only fried that cool. particular card reader, but you short-circuited cool. the entire system. She says it'll take days to repair the damage, maybe even weeks. Oops, I'm guess sorry. they but really like, blew it, <laughs> as it were. I'm not in the mood for lame jokes, why Nancy, are we nor am I in the mood for paying for any more of your like, mistakes. You're unexperienced, you're doing this. You're off, yeah. Unsolder everything. So I guess that goes there. It's just all odd to me because, can I pick it back up? I tried to even back out of it and it wouldn't let me pick it back up. So that must be where it goes. Maybe it just depends on what we solder and what we don't. Okay. Let's look at that manual again. Well, it 
Because soldering in particular, when you create an electrical link between elements of an electronic circuit, a soldering gun is used to perform this task. Soldering gun will be used in the Parker Studio VR until they place the point of the gun in the area. You want to solder and click. If the solder is already in place, then the gun is used in the area and the solder will be removed. Take care of choosing which elements to solder. Improper connections can result in the short circuit. Okay. Never solder an electrical circuit when the power is on. Okay, well, whatever. So. So we want. In parallel, have a more complex formula. Okay, well. Is that stated in here? Let's see here. Oh. Let's to... Waiting for delivery of micro macro resistor, which is the one we have. Yeah. To allow easy soldering of macro resistor once it comes in. It has to be 15 ohms. They said the micro resistor will give 5 ohms of resistance. Um, should pick the micro resistor. Series. So it has to be so 15. Yeah, so what are our colors depicting? So green is 5. Okay, so our macro resistor is 5. Orange is 30. So this one's 30. Brown, black, black is 10. And brown, black, brown is 100. Brown, black, black is 10. So this is 10, this is 30, and then that this is, five. is 5. So we need to make 15. 15. So we don't want to solder this guy then. We just want to solder the 10 and the 5. I guess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's this one is connected to this one. Yeah. And this one is just not connected to anything. I think that's right. There, that looks right. Yay! Science. Awesome. Math. We did it. We did it. So we have to bring this to Harlan. Yeah. She said that we have to bring this thing to Harlan to show him that it's fixed and he can then send power back to you. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. A month? Jeez, why? Any idea Holy why cow. he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator. Doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, well, I try. Has he always been behind? I guess he was doing okay up until about a month ago. Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. Uh-oh. Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Awesome. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer yeah. before you came to work here. In yeah. Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. Wow. I'll see you around. Have fun. Okay, we okay, will. Okay, then. So is the power on now? At the roller coaster? City turn back on, so. Yay! We did it! Sharky boy. Shark, shark. Okay. What's this? Oh, we're just stopped. Oh, okay. Okay, so look at, yeah, we'll look at that. Is there anything else we can see? Look at that bulletin board now. Ah, oh, cat! Oh, emergency. Look at this red hand on it. Scarlet hand? Yeah, it's her. Well, they have Easter eggs from other games. And these games, maybe. That all we can look at? Oh, pencil. This looks like one oh. of Joy's. She, yeah, she does chew her pencil. Okay. Because somebody pressed the emergency stop, and that's what, like, or it just stopped on its own, or maybe somebody pressed the emergency stop that made it stop, and that person thought he was injured or whatever. Right. Hard to say, and there's like a pencil left there, so either. Joy randomly left her chewed up pencil there at uh, the crime scene or someone right. planted it. Right. Is that all we can see in this? Ow! I'm trapped! Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I don't remember this. To get my foot loose, I need to switch the track. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Oh god, okay. How? Power? Oh. But where? Is there a certain? These need to be in. 
Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly okay, so connected. We have to try every. Option. Try, try again. So let's try the grid. Oh, because the power was on. Power was on. That's what Harlan said must have happened. I was out cold when he found me. I can't so afford to have chances. you blundering around. So many the park second chances. Chance. Ow! Okay, I'm trapped. We get it. Let's try all the different. Yeah. Without the power. Uh oh. Possible. To get my foot loose, I need. Looks like I have to reconnect these try wires. Them all. So let's try red to second. This to this. And this to this. Let's now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. No. Try, try again. So then let's... I turned it off. I thought you were electrocuted. Ow! I'm trapped. Okay. Uh oh. Get my foot loose. I need to switch. Looks like I have to reconnect these so wires. To the bottom. This to the top. This now I can turn the power on and see if these are okay. properly connected. Try, try again. Okay, yeah, okay. So now let's just swap these ones. That's not right. So now let's. So let's try red in second position, blue in top position. Oh, we connected. Okay, do we need to do it again? Oh, switch it. Switch the track position. Oh. I do know that if you take too long, she gets ran over. Yeah. <laughs> Which we didn't have that kind of death. We no, just got electrocuted multiple times. Okay. Well, Very was... creepy. That's Why scary. would somebody do that to us? Is that all we can look at in here now? It's so weird. Yeah. Like Who did that? So should we go talk to Joyce and find a pencil? Yeah. Need something? Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. No. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, oh quite frankly. Goodness. I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Oh, that's sad. Jeez. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Uh, Maybe you no. accidentally tripped a switch or something. No! I don't think so. It happened right after I picked up this pencil. That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy! While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity <laughs> came in here and Dude, snooped. why you gotta? You were snooping around Snoop. in here? You told us we could snoop, though. Why is that a big deal? You're snitching on us. Why is that a big deal? I left her a note. Well, I was leaving you a note. You know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate what area entity? during your absence. We actually didn't look anywhere. We literally went and we wrote the note and we left. And that's literally what we did, yeah. Because we had snooped before and we went everywhere she said we could go. I that was just trying annoying. to do the job Miss Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. <laughs> the word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Does he do anything else besides blabber? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party pooping stick <laughs> in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect my. me with long-lost oh, memories riddles. from my childhood. I do remember that this. sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. Yeah, Nancy knows. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck. Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Oh, goodness. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away. 
bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day? I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste day. of time. Maybe it'll ring a bell with somebody else. I'll ask around. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I do remember from playing this game a million times what we have to do, but I do think let's ask around so that we can find out the normal way because I don't really know. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We post every Tuesday and Friday. The next part will be out soon. Hope to see you then. Boosie Broads out.